Hi guys, welcome back. I hope you're doing well. Today I am watching episode 10 of Fruits Basket. I'm very excited. I'm going to say that every time, but it's true. Every time I'm super excited for this. Last, the last few episodes have been so dramatic. So much has been happening. Kind of like a lot to get your head around, but it feels like things are settling down. Maybe, hopefully. In last episode, Toru and Akito finally had their altercation. It's kind of been a long time coming and it didn't take much for Toru to kind of break down Akito's walls and get her to admit the thing she's been trying to hide. Like she doesn't want to be left behind. She's scared. She's worried like of being alone. Yeah, and all the stuff. And obviously Toru's like, I'll be your friend. <laughs> Toru, even though, you know, all the horrible things she's done, but whatever. Um, and then just as she's about to take her hand, Cliff crumbles, of course, and Toru falls down. Very dramatic. I love that. I love that kind of thing. And then, um, Yuki and Kyo are like, no! And then Kyo's like, Toru, I'm sorry, I don't want this to happen. And he kissed her. Um, yee. It ended with Kreno and Toru in hospital. Akito visited both of them after some wise words from Mimiji, um, kind of throwing a bit of shade as well and um you can see there's a turning point in Akita's character Akita's changing finally I mean it didn't take much <laughs> well I guess you think like her, over this series especially you can see there's been this thing this thing this thing that's slowly breaking her down and it just it was that she got to the point where she was so low or close to breaking anyway that just Toru saying a few things to her pushed her like to snap and change um yes so going forward what, what <laughs> i mean i i think i know what's gonna happen i mean in this episode uh like what parts are gonna be and i'm just really excited to see it because it's all gonna be great <laughs> i just don't know how much they're gonna include and where they're gonna get up to what point yeah i just can't wait guys i can't wait honestly what a gift to have this show remade. Just wonderful, just so amazing. I know I say it all the time, but I never thought that this show was, this man, or what, this story was gonna get another like adaptation. It's amazing, it's amazing. I'm just gonna enjoy it. I can't wait, okay. I'm gonna get into it, I'm very excited. Oh, we all do. Yuki. Oh. And no one hurt me. Oh, the music's so good. Yeah, but then it, you wouldn't have. You wouldn't have become the person you are now. Oh, bit of Yuki. I've missed him a lot the past few episodes. There's one particular moment I said last week that I'm expecting in this episode and I can't wait, can't wait. This show just makes me so happy. I mean, I know it's been sad and dramatic the past few episodes, but the overall feeling is one of warmth and loveliness. <laughs> I just watched the last episode with my friends on our anime, Tuesday anime night. And one of my friends really hates Akito, obviously. Well, they all kind of hate her. And like I said last week, as soon as that episode ended, I kind of felt my hatred for her kind of disappearing. But my other friend was like, what the fuck? I hate her. Why are all these people forgiving her? I can understand why some people would feel that way. I guess because I've also lived with this story for a long time. I knew that was going to happen, so I'm not shocked. Maybe it's a bit more jarring if you're a new viewer. But yeah. Forgiving is not easy. Student council room! Yes! Hey, Kakaru! I miss these people. Oh, redhead hearty! <laughs> I don't know, I don't care. Mm. Yes, what is she? Mom! <laughs> Oh my gosh, Machi! No, 
<laughs> She's mom. <laughs> Who is it? Oh. Hi. Oh, it's weird seeing them go visit him. He ran away from home. Hmm. Oh, no. They had a... It's my fault she got hurt. Wow. No, of course not. It's not really anyone's fault. Can I just say how weird it is to see these three people in the same room? <laughs> I love rivals. <laughs> yeah, he is. I stabbed him. Yeah, you stabbed him. Trampled on him. Yo. Mm. The animation looks so good here. Hannah knows everything. I really love Reese's outfit. <gasps> she let her hair down. <laughs> yeah, but they have some meaning. <gasps> some meaning to you. Go. Why do you have to go? <laughs> uh -huh. No way. Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's so cute seeing her like this. Like a blushing person with a crush. Oh, butterflies. It's lovely. I don't remember Kyo running away. Mm, at adulting. Where is he? Where the fuck is he? Okairi. Hello. Yeah, I'm sure she was. It's a blue, white, and brown. Also. <laughs> Brag was like, you ask me. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. I already didn't notice he was there. No, he didn't. <laughs> Guys, this is the part. This is the part I've been waiting for. Oh my god, yeah. Where were you? Yeah, where the fuck were you? Mm. Stop it. Mm -mm. <laughs> Why didn't want boys? Yeah, good point. Oh my god, look at him! Look at him! I love his voice. Oh, stop it. That's right. 
Yep. It's true. Oh, Yuki! You did protect her. just was like I wanted to be like you I wanted to be like you oh. <sighs> finally finally they had it out oh my god <sighs> it means so much like how could two people misunderstand well misunderstand each other so badly oh, the years of resentment and hatred and miscommunication and then it just all comes away in like a minute. And you're like, oh, I was wrong. More on Kyo's side than Yuki's side, but yeah. I guess um, Kyo, I just thought Kyo doesn't know that Yuki doesn't love Toru that way. Maybe he still thinks he's a love rival. Hmm. He's not a love rival. That's his mom, okay? <laughs> go, go get her mom. Go get his mom, okay? Okay, Kyo? Okay. <laughs> no, she's kind. Although they can't hug now. No, of course not. <laughs> These two. They got so much cuter. <laughs> oh. Oh. <gasps> oh, God, yeah. Oh my god, his dad is horrible. He's got a good collection of vinyl though. Oh my god, this man. Yeah. Okay. I feel sorry for this guy. This guy is sad little life. You can do it, Kyo. Come on. You're right. That woman's like, Ugh. for what? Why? He hasn't. Oh, it's nice. Oh. I refuse. No. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. Well done. No. You're unforgivable. There's nothing you can say to this guy. <sighs> you let your life get wrecked by living like that. No. You too. <sighs> Yes, he did. Uh-uh. Oh. It's 
she loved you. I know it was, I'm not saying my love was perfect, but it was there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love to hear him say that. Oh, this man. Yes, 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 who gives a shit about that guy? He's trash. So, I don't think it's too late. It's not too late. No, it's never too late. No, you're not. It's just an excuse. But I'm going. Yes, go. Good for you. I'll visit again. Okay. Well, that's your own loss. Oh. No. But your mistakes are what make you you. You learn from them. Yeah. <laughs> yes, go get her. Run, run, run. <gasps> oh, it's gonna end. Damn it. <laughs> oh, my face hurts from smiling. Oh. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Ah. Uh, right. <laughs> oh, these guys. I love them all so much. Okay. Goodbye. Sayonara. Goodbye. Oh my god. Goodbye. Goodbye. Good. Guys. Sorry. Yes. Oh my god. Next episode is going to be another 
banger. Um, yes, from where it left off. Um, I wasn't sure it was going to end, but then when when it, I forgot. I, I hadn't forgotten that he went to see his dad. I just wasn't sure if they were going to have it in there. But it's a really important moment for him because he goes there before he goes to get Toru because he's like, this is something I need to do. I, and he, not only does he face his father, finally, he realises that he needs to want to live and he needs to try and live, um, which is great because he didn't want to live before. He didn't think he deserved it. He didn't, never didn't think about it, but he hated himself and he didn't think he deserved life. But he's realised that it's something precious and he wants to hold on and live it while he can. That's what you can do. The, his dad's like the antithesis of him. Kyo had like some realisation that his mother, his father was abusive. He sort of, I guess he'd shut that out somehow because it was like, he can just remember how he hurt his mum. But that's why his dad put that idea in his head that he hurt his mum. And I'm sure, in, I'm sure that in some ways that is true that she had some pain and depression from giving birth to him, you know? Like, it's kind of weird because she's kind of a mix between the two, you know, that Mamiji said that parents either reject the Zodiac uh, child or they are too protective. And she kind of did both in a way. Like, on the one hand, she kind of was revolted. It seemed like revolted that she gave birth to him because he's like a monster. But on the other hand, she was super protective of him. And I think she did love him, um, even if it it wasn't like a healthy relationship and a healthy uh, parent-child relationship. She did love him. And if she had a partner, a husband, who wasn't abusive and uh, being down on her all the time and on Kyo, I mean, she might not have been that way. Maybe she obviously had love. She cared for him. But if she'd had a partner who was loving and supportive, maybe they could have had a nice family. But that guy was weak and the father, he's weak and bitter and a coward. He like puts the blame on his son. He knows that he's got blame too. He's been telling himself that it's Kyo's fault. And think about it, Kyo left that guy's house when he was, I don't know how old he was when his mother passed away, but maybe like, I'm thinking like seven or eight years old, maybe. He's been out of that house and now he's 17, 18. So that's like 10 years. That guy's just been sitting in that house, drinking, stewing about that. Like, get a fucking life. Like, you know, like you, like you only have one life. What are these people doing? Why are they doing this? He's throwing his own life away, living in hatred and, and bitterness and not moving on. Uh, and that's why I feel sorry for that guy, but he's an idiot. <laughs> um, and Kyo's amazing. And I don't remember Kyo saying I'll be back. I guess Kyo wants to have a relationship with him even despite all of it, which is very good of him. Um, Cause he's not a great person. Bad father. Um, yeah. And um, God, the parents in this. <laughs> um, I might do a top 10 of like the worst parents, like if I could pick in order, like it's quite hard, you know, for who would be up at the top because they're all quite bad. Mm -hmm. And also my, this moment with Yuki and Kyo, I've been waiting for it for so long. Um, just seeing them finally have it out with each other. Cause obviously from the start, they've always been antagonistic. And at the beginning you just think, oh, it's haha, it's kind of funny. Um, like their relationship, like that they're always like hating on each other. But you learn there's so much more behind it. It's so much more complicated than just like a rivalry. The fact that Yuki wanted to be Kyo's friend from the get-go, but Kyo has all this in his head already that Yuki's the bad guy from a, when he's a child and he's jealous of him and one thinks that he's got it so great when he doesn't at all. Yeah, he had a shit childhood too, just in a different way. And that I don't think even like Yuki even hated Kyo as they got older, but it's just he just responded to his 
aggression with aggression because how else can you respond to that if you got someone hating on you and trying to fight you all the time I mean he he was pretty cool about it a lot of the time and calm collected but sometimes he did fight him back and you know called him an idiot and whatever but what else could he do I mean it's hard and then Kyo obviously is even deeper I feel like his r hatred of Yuki it's just so funny how you can put so much hatred and misunderstanding into someone you barely even know like he doesn't even know him really like he has no idea what no idea what he went through and he doesn't really have any idea what he went through because they never talked to each other and they wanted to be like each other the whole time it's so funny and lovely and i'm so glad that this has happened and i, I just love it i loved seeing yuki so angry because obviously at the beginning he was like a doll like so one like one level all the time seemed you could see he had some vulnerability but he didn't show emotion and then obviously over the seasons you've seen him growing and he's shouting and blushing and feeling and seeing him so angry and shouting and like i wanted to be you <sighs> just so cathartic and all that i just love it i just love it and then him going ready to find marchi so obviously we've got kyo running after Toru and Yuki running to find Marchi. So I've got two lovely encounters to look forward to next episode. I can't wait. So good. Okay, well, after that, <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm going to go, but thank you very much for watching as always. Leave a comment if you want. Um, love to chat to you guys about how you felt about this episode. Did you like it? I thought it was wonderful, honestly. Um, even though this series... It has felt rushed to me and even to my friends I asked them because <clears throat> they haven't read the manga and they said that it's felt rushed. They've enjoyed like the pacing because it's been like bam 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 cliffhanger cliffhanger but they said it does feel like they've, they've rushed through it and it's been a slow burn up to this point so it's weird they're kind of rushing through it all now but ugh, I just have to I'm, I'm fine it's fine just living with it but yeah um only three episodes left. <laughs> Oh, I hope they do an OVA. I really, really want them to do an OVA about um, Toru's mum and her dad. Because in the in the manga, there's a whole part that's dedicated to Kyoko and Katsuya. And you learn about how they met, they got married, Katsuya's death, all of that. And it's like, it's quite a long, good chunk of one volume. And it happens between, because they've mixed up the, the, the order. I'm pretty sure it happened between the play and no is that right between the play and um the play and maybe Kareno telling Toru that Kyo is a man woman maybe so there's a whole part anyway and they obviously missed that out and I really hope they would be great if they did a little OVA side story dedicated to that because it is a really sweet story obviously very sad because he passes away but um it and it, it also makes you understand why Kyoko feels an affinity with Kyo when you see the relationship she had with her parents. So I really hope that they somehow can someone can they do that? Can they do an OVA? I don't know. That'd be great though. Also, I wonder, there's obviously the after story, which is like 20 years past about the children. Um, I wonder if they would make that into a series. I didn't enjoy it personally as much as the original, but I could. Anyway, we'll see. We'll see. Yes, okay, well, I'm definitely going to go now. <laughs> but yes, uh, that was great. And um, thank you very much for watching as always. Um, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.